Residents of Mamburao Occidental Mindoro complain of unfinished infrastructure which cost their municipality, municipality almost 100 million pesos. Joyce Inas returns with his story. Solar News was in Mamburao Occidental Mindoro the other weekend on a mission to interview the teacher accused of hurting a student in a video that went viral on the internet. But it turned out the surface had more stories underneath. We were approached by residents complaining about infrastructures that have been left unfinished. They took us first on unfinished wet and dry market, where their old one-story covered market sat. Vendors say Mamburao Mayor Bambi Villarosa ordered the demolition, promising to build a new two-story wet and dry market. That was in 2010. Kawawa naman yung mga nagtitinda kasi nga nagre-reklamo na kay Mayor Bambi na ganun nga po kung saan-saan na sila napapalayo ng tinda. Eh baka daw po mabulok na ang tinda nila kaso naglalako sila, uhulihin naman daw sila. Ang pinangako po sa amin ng aming buting mayor ay 3 months lamang po na at magagawa na yung aming palengke. Abilidas residence po ito, private po ito. Nabayad po kami dito ng 70 a day. Aside from the new market, Villarosa promised a new slaughterhouse and a transport terminal. Two years after Villarosa's promise, what can be seen are hollow blocks and steel bars. Ang narinig ko ho, ay ang, ang ginastosan, puro initial yung palengke, yung sinasabing slaughterhouse, at saka ho yung terminal. Pero lahat po yung initial lang? Oo, oh, eh, kasi ho, Kaya ko naman nasabing initial, eh, wala pa hong nagagamit, wala pa nagpapangsyon. Solar News went to the Mamburao Municipal Hall to get Villarosa statements. But this was what we saw. Another infrastructure pending construction. We were then told that Villarosa was in Manila, where we sat down to an interview with him. Villarosa admits getting a loan from UCPB and Postal Bank amounting to 100 million pesos to fund several projects. Actually, the loan was for the market, for the slaughterhouse, for the terminal, for our computerization, and for our um, solid waste management project. Villarosa says projects encountered engineering design problems, forcing him to stop construction for a year. The soil in the spot for the new market cannot carry the weight of a second floor. The new terminal has huge elevation discrepancy as against the main road. The slaughterhouse design doesn't jive with what the National Meat Inspection Services had in mind. It took a while also for the engineers to redo the whole phase 2. Eh. So ngayon ko lang na-approve yung bagong phase. So ngayon lang namin sa start. Construction resumes in two weeks. Joyce Ilas, Solar News.